Goat cheese tastes tartar than cheese made from cow's milk because goat's milk has a higher proportion of certain fatty acids which sharpen the flavor. There are hard and soft varieties of goat cheese. The soft ones are usually sold in logs or discs and often have a coating of peppercorns, chopped herbs, or other flavorings. The texture of soft goat cheese makes it ideal for spreading on crackers or crumbling over pasta or salads. Goat cheese is also called chèvre, the French word for goat. Farmers start breeding goats when the animals are a year old. The gestation period lasts five months, meaning milk production begins at the age of about a year and a half. The goats go for a milking every 12 hours or so. The first step is to manually squirt some milk into a cup to check the quality. If it looks good, they wipe the teats with disinfectant to remove surface bacteria. Then they hook up the automated milk extractor. A milking takes just two or three minutes. It typically yields two to three quarts. At the cheese factory, the goat's milk goes into a steam-heated pasteurization tank. An agitator stirs the milk non-stop to keep it from cooking. They heat the milk to 66 degrees Celsius, which kills off any bacteria. With the milk now pasteurized, they add bacterial cultures. These kickstart the fermentation. Then they add rennet. Diluted in water, rennet is an extract from calf stomachs. It contains enzymes which curdle milk. With the cultures and rennet in, workers now let the milk ferment for 18 hours. The result? Cheese curds and a watery liquid called whey. They ladle out the curds and put them in a cheesecloth bag to strain them. As they lift the bag, the sheer weight of the curds forces out much of the remaining whey. They tie up the bag and let the curds sit for another 18 hours, after which time workers strain them again. The goat cheese is finally ready. They weigh it and mix in just the right proportion of salt, 0.6%, to slow down the aging process. One of the formats this factory produces is 175 gram packages, so workers weigh out 175 gram blobs of cheese. Then hand roll each blob into a ball, then flatten each ball into a disc. The disc goes into refrigeration until packaging time. The fridge temperature is 3 degrees Celsius, just above freezing. Some goat cheeses go for a roll in special flavorings. These are chives. Then it's into cellophane wrap and a plastic container. On the product label, they stamp a best before date. Unopened, goat cheese has a two month shelf life. Once opened, about a week. Another format is log shaped. They roll this particular variety in a five pepper seasoning. Workers also hand roll goat cheese balls. They go into a container with spices, sun-dried tomatoes, and olive oil. Goat cheese is a healthy food. It has twice the protein of cow's milk cream cheese, get half the fat and cholesterol, 
and one-third fewer calories.